everybody, my name is Ashley and I am a group exercise instructor at UREC. I'm going to be leading you today through an express body sculpt class, um, which will be a 45 minute full body strengthening class. So we will be doing an arm set, arm set a leg set, and a glute and core set on the floor. Um, some equipment you can grab if you have it is a pair of dumbbells or two. I have a five pound set and an eight pound set. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, you can grab like items around your house. Um, you can use like canned goods or water bottles. And um, another thing you could do is get a milk carton and fill that up with like water or um, something that can add some weight to it. And then you will have a nice heavy weight for your leg set if you'd like it. Um, but if you don't have dumbbells, again, please grab like canned goods or something like that to use for the arm set. Most of our exercises can be done without any equipment. Um, but sometimes it's nice to have that extra little weight if you want it. Another thing you might need to grab is a mat. If you have one, a yoga mat is perfect. If not, just find yourself a softer surface that you can go down on the floor for, for when we do core and glutes at the end. Um, I do not have any music playing during this workout, so it's just going to be me kind of coaching you through some exercises. I'll give you lots of different options on how to make things a little bit more challenging or a little bit less, depending on what you need today. Um, and there's going to be a playlist linked in the bottom of this video. If you want to use mine, you can. If not, you can play whatever you want. Um, during the workout, I'm just kind of here to give you some exercises to work on. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Again, it's a 45 minute class. And we're gonna go ahead and begin with our warm up. So go ahead and spread yourself out, give yourself some room. And we're just gonna start in a nice wide march, bring our knees up nice and high. We're pumping our arms, keeping our core nice and strong the entire class. Good, go ahead and take it a little bit wider here. Awesome, we're gonna plant our feet down in three, two, one, plant your feet, we have spinal flexion, we're arching that back down, tucking your head at the bottom and rolling up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Good, take a big shoulder roll, rolling it down again. Good, in three, two, one, a little bit faster, we're down and up. Good, it's down and up, two more, articulate through that back. Good, in three, two, one. One, we're going to step and swing our arm across that chest, flexing your hand, getting a nice stretch along your shoulder, keeping your core nice and tight and twisting in that torso. Good, shifting your weight between your feet here. Watch my change. Next, we're going to take that arm overhead, reaching nice and high. Good. Getting that stretch in our oblique, in the side of our core. Good, in three. Two, and one. We're gonna circle those arms forward, nice and small, to start off with, just getting that nice full range of motion in our shoulder. You can take it bigger as you go. Good. And we're gonna take that same thing to the back, opening up those shoulders again. Starting big this time, and getting smaller. Good, in three, two, and one, we're gonna keep our arms out to the side. Feet are gonna go a little bit wider than hip distance apart. We're gonna reach our opposite hand down for our opposite toe, feeling a stretch along the back of our leg, squeezing up through our core and using our glutes. Awesome job, y'all. Keep breathing, keep your head in line with your spine. Great job, taking two more of these. And on that last one, we're going to walk our feet in so that they're right underneath our hips. We're taking it to just a shallow squat, so you're coming down about halfway and squeezing as you come up, engaging those glutes, getting those legs nice and activated. Good. You want to keep your weight in your heels in these squats, and pretend you're sitting back down in a chair, sending those glutes back and squeezing up. That knee wants to stay behind your toe, okay, so it's right over the top of that ankle. We're breathing, y'all. Keep going. In three, two, hold it down right here. We're going to do little pulses, tiny lifts, firing up those quads. Good. In three, two, one. As we stand up, pulling. 
pulling that heel towards our glute into a ham curl. You're going to open up that chest, press your elbows behind you. Awesome. That foot flexes as it comes up to that glute, feeling a stretch in your quad and activation of that back leg muscle. Good. In three, two, one. Watch my change right here. We're taking it to a knee twist, bringing those hands next to your ears and crunching that knee up towards your chest. Good. Exhale as you lift it up. Activating that core. Hold up those legs. It's three, two, and one. Great job, y'all. One more move for our warm up. We're going to take it to an inchworm. For these, you're going to come onto your toes. Reach your hands up. Bring your feet down to that. Bring your hands down to your feet. We're going to crawl it out into a plank. You can hang out here. If you'd like, you can add a push up. And then we're crawling it back up. Reaching it nice and high, taking this at your own speed. If you want to, you can come down to your knees. Just making sure you're keeping a straight line from your head all the way down to your feet. Keep it here. That core comes in. Pulling that plank for a couple seconds at the bottom. Good. Breathing the whole time. Remembering you can take whatever form of the exercise you want. you got three more. Keep going. Breathing through it, y'all. We got this. In three, two, and one. Great job. Shake it out. Grab some water if you'd like. If you don't already have some, pause the video, go get some, and then come on back. We're going to jump right in today. We're going to do arms first. Um, we're going to do each exercise for 45 seconds. About halfway through, we're going to add in a little bit of cardio. So we're going to activate those muscles, use them a little bit as we cardio, get that heart rate up a little. And as I said, if you don't have uh, any hand weights or dumbbells, um, you can use equipment from around your house if you have canned goods or something like that. That will work for these. Um, go ahead and pick up those weights if you have them. And we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to keep that core nice and tight the whole time. Soft bend in our knees. Our arms are going to go out to the side just a little bit. For our first move, we're taking a wide bicep curl. We're bringing that weight up to our shoulder and back down. We're here for 45 seconds in three, two, and one. Here we go, curling up, bringing it down. Awesome. You have an option here. If you'd like, you can alternate your arms doing one at a time. Good, y'all. We got this. Warming up these arms. We're going to do each of these exercises only one time, so make sure you're getting that full range of motion, the full effect of this move. Good. Keep those elbows tucked in. Squeeze that core. Check in with those knees. Keep them a little bit bent here. You've got 10 more seconds of these. Try to go a little bit slower, a little bit more deliberate. You got this. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Quick rest. We are going to take it to a front raise. For this, you're going to have a soft bend in your knees. Weights come right up in front of those shoulders. Come back down. We're going to take it side next and down. So we're alternating from the front. Out to the side, keeping those arms right in line with shoulders. It's 45 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's go. Lifting up. Exhale, side. Good. It's up. And side. You can single out the arms for these two. One at a time is good. Awesome. Exhale as you lift. Keep those cores tight. Good. You can do one of each. Awesome job, y'all. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Y'all are rocking it. You're about halfway through these ones. Good. Trying to keep those wrists in line with shoulders as you lift side. Awesome work, y'all. We've got five, four, three, two. And one, good job, roll out your shoulders. Coming up next, we have a tricep kickback. For these, we are going to hinge a little bit at our hips, slightly forward with a nice bend in our knees. Our elbows come in towards our sides and our weights are tucked in pretty much right under our armpits. Our head stays in line with our neck and we're gonna kick back that lower half and pull it in. 
We are here for 45, getting started in three, two, and one. Here we go, kicking back. Good, y'all, keep pushing through these. If you want to, you can single out one arm at a time. Totally an option for you. Keeping these elbows glued in towards our sides. The only thing moving is from your elbow to your hand. Great job. Exhale as you press back. If you need a little bit more, lean forward a little bit. Good, y'all. More than halfway through these. Keep it up. You've got 10 more seconds. Lift a little bit higher. Feel that squeeze in the back of your arm. In three, two, and one. Great job. We have one more move in this set. We're taking our arms to a nice wide goal post position. My elbows are at 90 degrees. We are exhaling, pressing these weights up overhead and bringing them down. This is our shoulder press. We're here for 45 seconds. In three, two, and one. Here we go, pressing up and down. Good, y'all. You can single these out if you like. Doing great, keep going, keep those elbows tall. Good, feeling those shoulders activating, feeling them slide down your back as you pull your arms down. Looking good, you can stagger your feet if that feels better for you. Good, y'all, we're almost there. We've got 15 more seconds of these. Yes, you can, keep it up, keep going. In three, two, two more. You got this, last one. And lower down, great job. You can set your weights down for a second. Grab some water if you'd like. We are going to take 30 seconds of quick cardio. We're going to do a little jump rope in place. Nice tight fists. We're circling those arms, adding that hop here. It's 30 seconds, getting started. In three, two, one. Join in when you're ready. Great job, guys. Get that heart rate up. Keep those fists nice and tight. We're working that bicep, squeezing those arm muscles. You can jump your feet out and in. You can step it out, whatever works for you. 10 seconds, push it out. Keep breathing. This is where we get sweaty. Landing softly on those heels. It's three, two, one. Shake it out. Pick up those weights. You got one more set of arms. All new exercises. Still working our shoulders though. We're gonna keep our palms facing our quads. Exhaling, lifting our elbows up to the side. This is our upright row. Squeezing to lift. 45 seconds for this. It's three, two, one. Here we go. Exhale up. Inhale down. You can single out your arms if you want. Good, y'all. We got it. Kind of like you're zipping up a jacket, pulling that weight up and down. Again, feel free to drop your weights for this if you would like. Don't forget those legs. Keep that soft bend. Try not to lock out your knees. You're killing it. You got it. We've got 10 more seconds here. Make it count. Slowly come up. Slowly come down. In five. Four, three, two, and one. Quick rest, shake out your shoulders. Next up, we have a bent over row. We're gonna go back to our tricep kickback position, hinging at those hips. Our grip is facing forward, so my palms are facing you. We can wiggle our fingers, and we're gonna pull our elbows to the back and down. We're working our shoulders and our biceps for this. It's 45 seconds. In three, two, and one. Here we go, crank it back. Good. So you want to keep your chest nice and lifted for this. Your head is in line with your spine and you're leaning forward. If you'd like, you can stagger your feet out. Take some of that pressure off of your back. Good. Pulling up, squeezing those shoulder blades together, working those back muscles. That elbow brushes against the side of your body as you pull up. Exhaling to lift. Keep going, guys. Squeeze that core. Less than 10, keep it up, keep going. Single out if you want. It's three, two, 
and one. Coming up to standing. Great job. Next up, we have a chest fly. We're working our chest muscles and more back. We're coming back up to that goal post position. This time, we're going to pull our elbows in towards our face and open them back to the side. We're staying at that 90 degree angle. Taking 45 seconds here. It's three, two, one. Squeezing it in and open. Good. Keeping those elbows lifted will engage our shoulders. You got this, y'all. Keep pushing through. Good. Singling out if you'd like. Good. You are strong. You can do this. Remember why you wanted to work out today. Getting that body moving. 15 more seconds here. Yes, you can. Finish it strong. We got one more arm weight move after this. In three, two, and one. Bringing it down. Great job, guys. Our last weighted move is around the world. We're going to take our palms facing forward, our arms circle up and around overhead, and then come back down, keeping it nice and tight, squeezing up, softening those elbows. It's 45 seconds in three, two, and one. Awesome. Good, guys. Keep that core nice and tight. You can always single out your arms for these. 30 seconds left. You got this. Squeeze those shoulders. Go nice and slow on your way up and on your way down. Good. Don't forget to keep those knees bent. Don't lock them out. In five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, y'all. Set those weights down. We have one more cardio move in this arm set. We're taking it to a jumping jack. For these, we want to bring our arms all the way up overhead. You can almost give yourself a high five at the top. We're opening and jacking it up. It's three, two, one. Join me here. 30 seconds. Landing softly on those feet. Good. The higher you jump, the higher that heart rate goes. Taking this at your own pace, at your own level. If you want to, step it out. Breathe in, y'all. Keep those arms nice and strong. Core is tight. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab some water. Rest it out. We're going to move on to legs next. Same number of exercises, same amount of time. Awesome, y'all grab that water. For legs, again, as I said before, you don't have to use the weight at all. If you have weights, that's great. If you don't and you want something, grab something heavy, just hold it at your chest level, and you'll get that extra weight in. We are taking it to just a regular squat with some added weight this time. So if you have it, go ahead and pick it up. You can leave it down at your sides or place it onto your shoulders. Feet are hip distance apart just like they were in our warm up. Squatting down, coming up. 45 seconds here. It's three, two, and one. Here we go. Drop it down, squeezing up. Good. We're working those quads, no glutes here. Use that breath to help you. Exhale as you come up, inhale as you drop. Try to make your up and down at the same pace so that you're working your body equally. Good. You're strong. You can do it. Good. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight at the top. Nice and slow on the way up. Good, y'all. You're more than halfway there. If you want to, these last 10 seconds, hold it down and pulse. If you don't, keep going up and down. Breathing. It's three, two, one. One, squeeze to come up, great job. Next up, we are taking it to a forward lunge. So for these, we're gonna step, alternating feet, one foot comes front, lunging low. Coming up, other side. You can take it at your own pace, keeping that front knee behind your toe, keeping your head, hips, and your spine all stacked on top of each other. We're getting started in three, two, 
And one, let's go. 45 seconds for these. Good, if this starts to bother your knees, you can take it a little bit shorter stance. You can also go back to that regular squat from before. Good, exhaling up, inhaling down. Good, y'all, we got this. In five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out those legs. We have another lunge coming up. This time we're gonna step back and cross our leg. It's gonna be a curtsy lunge. We're still alternating feet. So you're crossing your leg back, lunging down, and switching sides. Kinda like a curtsy. We're alternating here, getting started in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good. Again, if it feels weird on your knees, you can take it in a little bit. You don't have to lunge back as far. Making sure you're keeping your weight in that front heel. That back toe is just there to help you balance. Y'all are rock stars. We got this. Push it out. You can do it. Good job, y'all. Keep going. Exhale it up. Squeeze that glute. Less than 10. In five, four, three, two, get one more. And rest, nice job. Go ahead and bring those weights down if they're on your shoulders. One more move before our cardio. So this time, we're gonna hinge at those hips, work our hamstrings, soft bend in our legs, round those shoulders back. We're hinging forward with a nice flat back, nice and strong. Head stays in line with your spine. You're gonna squeeze up, work in those hamstrings, that big muscle in the back of your leg. We're getting started for 45 seconds. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Nice and strong, slow and controlled for these. Those weights hover right above your toes. As soon as you feel that pull in the back of your leg, that's your cue to squeeze and come up. Good. Just as slow on the way down and on the way up. Back is nice and flat, kind of like a table. Good, y'all. Squeeze. Keep your weight in your heels for these. You should be able to wiggle your toes up off the floor just a little bit. Good. Don't let the weight pull you forward. You are in control here. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, y'all. You can set those weights down. Our cardio move is going to be a squat pop. We are going to come down into our squat position. When you stand up, you're going to jump, squat down, jump up, squat down. 30 seconds here. It's three, two, and one. Here we go. Good. Bringing those feet together, hopping out. Again, landing softly. If you're not here to jump, that's fine. Stepping out one foot at a time, moving a little bit faster. Halfway through it, y'all. Make it count. Building that muscle, getting that heart rate up. Good. Keep that weight in your heels. It's three, two, one. Good job, guys. Grab water if you want. If you're good, go ahead and pick those weights back up. We have four more strength exercises. One more cardio for leg, and then we're hitting that floor. All right, y'all. We got this. We're going to take our feet nice and wide. Getting ready for our plie squat. Our toes are pointed to the sides. And our inner thighs are going to face the front. We sink nice and low. We squeeze up. Just like our regular squat, except this time, bigger stance. 45 seconds here. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go with down and up. Good. Feeling that inner thigh rotation as you squeeze to lift. Good, so keep that chest lifted nice and tall. Weight is still in our heels. So we're not letting that knee go over top of that front toe. 
Good. If you're, if you're tired of weights, you can put them down. Keep that body working. Keep moving here. Good, y'all. You've got 10 seconds left. If you want that pulse, take it low. Keep it down. Keep breathing. It's five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze and lift to come up. Great job. If you have two weights, go ahead and set one down. If you have no weight, don't worry about it. If you don't want to use weight, again, totally fine. We are taking a side lunge with an outer thigh lift. My weight's going to stay center at my chest. For now, I'm going to drop it just to show you what we're doing. We have a side lunge. We are bending one leg. One leg stays straight. As we come up, we are exhaling, shifting our weight onto that standing leg, lifting the bent knee. Outer thigh. We're going to do 45 seconds on each leg. Pulling that weight if you want. Getting started here, y'all. It's three, two, and one. One leg at a time. Right or left side only. We will do the other side. I promise we won't leave you hanging. Good. Feeling that inner thigh working. You're still sending that glute back in that squat. Good, y'all. Keep breathing. Exhale to lift. You're going to feel a little pinch in the side of your core as you lift that leg. That's that oblique activating. Getting ready for our core section coming up soon. In three, two. I told you too early. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, y'all. Bend in that other leg. Lift inside, 45 seconds, in three, two, one, let's go. Shift that weight side. Good. Keep pushing through, really burning that glute out here. You've got this, you're halfway through this leg. Get a little deeper. Try not to lock out that standing leg. Foot in the raising leg stays flexed. Good. Point that knee towards the front of the room. Good, guys. Good, good, good. Keep pushing. In five, four, three, two. One, very good, shake it out. We got one more strength move. We have a calf raise. Grab your weights if you want them. Hold them at your sides, hold them at your shoulders. We're coming up on our toes and back down. Getting started, 45 seconds in three, two, and one. Here we go. Woo, you're breathing, guys. We're gonna make it. Good, keep those glutes engaged here. Still working our entire leg. Good. If you want more of a challenge, try to keep those heels off the ground. Don't let them fall all the way down. Good. You're rocking this. We got it. Good, 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 guys. Keep breathing. Push it out. Almost there. In five, four, three. Two, give yourself a smile. Last one, shake it out, good job. We've got one more cardio move. This time we're taking a skater lunge. This is similar to our curtsy lunge. We are gonna add a hop to it. Skating side, trying to touch the floor if you can, while still keeping your chest lifted. The difference is that hop in the middle. If you wanna keep it a step out, move a little quicker. Staying low here. We're getting started in five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds, skater lunge. Exhale as you press yourself up. Inhale on your way down. Good, guys. This is where you get stronger. This is where you push yourself. You can do this. Can you go a little quicker? Keep that front knee behind your toe. Good. In three, two, one. Awesome job, y'all. Grab some water. Shake it out. Everybody good, yeah? All right, we're going to take it down to our mat for some glutes and some core. Taking it down, we are going to start 
just with a plank as our heart rate is kind of adjusting from our cardio. So go ahead and take it to your hands and knees. We're keeping our hands stacked under our shoulders and we're gonna press our heels up off the ground into that plank. We're just gonna hold it for 30 seconds, warm up that core again. It's three, two, one. Pressing it up, staying nice and still here. Using this time to actively catch your breath. So breathing in through your nose, exhale out through your mouth. If you're like, I don't want to blink right now, we still got work to do. Take a breather. You can pop your knees down. Still keep that core nice and tight. You can also always drop it to your forearms, keeping your glutes down and your back flat. Breathe through it, y'all. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Rest it down. All right, so our core set is going to be two different exercises, 30 seconds each, but we're gonna do them back to back. They're gonna change each time, and I'll kind of walk you through it as we go. But we are gonna start on our back, and we'll have a few glute moves mixed in in between. So we'll be getting that core worked, as well as our glutes. Go ahead, find yourself on the mat, feet are pressed into the ground. We're gonna bring our arms around back behind our head, Starting off, we just have a basic crunch. So we're gonna exhale, raise our shoulders off the ground and lower down. This is our first 30 seconds. Right after that, we're gonna bring our arms to the side, taking it to a penguin crunch. You're reaching your hand for your toe, side to side. It's one minute straight of work. Take a rest whenever you need it, but we're working hard. Crunching up, basic crunch in three, two, one. First 30 seconds right here. Keeping your chin away from your chest and your gaze at the ceiling. If you want to, you can bring your hands to your sides if that's easier. On your neck. Make sure you're lifting those shoulders up nice and high. Good, y'all. We're getting ready to switch to those penguin crunches. You've got about 10 more seconds here. In three, two, one. One, straight into it, reach that hand for that foot. If you want more of a challenge, reach for the inside of your shoe. Move it a little bit further down. Keep killing it, y'all. 15 more seconds of this exercise. Keep that head up at the ceiling. Gaze is high. It's three, two, and one. Lower down, great job. Take a second to breathe. Our next move is going to be a toe touch crunch. So we're going to bring our feet up to the ceiling. They're gonna stay here for the full minute. Our arms come up overhead. And we're gonna reach our fingers for our toes, lifting those shoulder blades off the ground. This is the first half of our minute. Second half is a leg lift. You can place your hands underneath your glutes for support if you'd like. And we're gonna lower our feet down so they're hovering about two inches off the floor and then squeeze them back up. Here we go, y'all. Toe touches first. It's three, two, one. First 30 seconds. Push through, power core. You are strong. Good, this is our center. This is where we keep ourselves nice and strong all day, so pushing through it. Building that strength here. Reach for those toes. Getting ready for the leg lift in three, two, one. Drop that head. This time our feet go down. Hover them off the mat and pull them up. That lower back stays glued to the floor. If you'd like to, you can single out one leg at a time. Good. Still hovering that foot even if you're singling. Head and neck stay on the ground. Finish it up, y'all. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Hug those knees into your chest. Give yourself a little break. All right. We have next scissors and bicycles. So for our scissor crunch, it's going to be similar to the single leg lift. We're going to bring our feet alternating sides, keeping our back on the ground. 
The lower your legs are to the ground, the more you're going to feel this in that core. Second move is a bicycle crunch. Arms come out behind our head. Opposite elbow goes to opposite knee as we crunch it out. It's one minute, starting with those scissors. In three, two, and one. Here we go, scissoring those legs. 30 seconds for this one. Making sure that lower back stays glued to the floor. Feet are hovering. If you need to come up higher, that is okay. Nobody can see you. You're still working hard, doing what's best for your body. Keep breathing, y'all. We got it. Getting ready for our bicycles in three, two, and one. Bringing those feet together, opposite arm to opposite knee. You can go as fast or slow as you like for these. I like to go a little bit slower because I think it's harder. But if you like to speed it up and you can do that, go for it. You've got 10 seconds left. Do what challenges you. It's three, two, one. Hug those knees. Great job, y'all. We are going to flip over onto our hands and knees like we did for our plank. We are going to do a glute exercise in between knees today. So we're going to stack our hands underneath our shoulders. Back is nice and flat. We have a donkey kick. We're going to take it on both sides. Left leg first, then right, or vice versa, whatever you want. It's 30 seconds, one leg. 30 seconds, the other. We're pressing that heel up into the ceiling. Getting started in three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze to lift. Good, y'all. You've got about five minutes left of work here. You can do this. You are strong. Feel that glute burning. Flex that foot up. If you're tired of being on your wrists, feel free to come down to your forearms. Keeping that core tight, still working strong. Switching legs in three, two, one. Other foot, kick it up. Halfway there, y'all. 30 more seconds of this move. Pretending you're pressing the sole of your shoe into that ceiling above you. Nice and strong here. Foot is flexed. Try to keep your gaze between your hands. Not looking back. Head stays in line. In three, two, and one. Nice job. You can rest down if you want to stretch it back. Go right ahead. We're going to take a plank while we're here, and then we'll flip it back over for one more round of core. This plank is going to work our obliques. We are coming up nice and tall. Again, you can be on your knees or your forearms. But we're bringing our um, knee to the outside of our elbow. Our back stays nice and flat. Our belly button stays pulled in. We're here 30 seconds, y'all. We got this. Only one or two more planks coming after this one today. You're almost done. Taking it up in three. Two, one, here we go. Bringing that knee around to the side. Driving that knee out. You're feeling a crunch in that oblique, in the side of your core. If you want to drop it to your knees, keep that core nice and stable. You're still moving, still working. Good work, y'all. It's five, four, Three, two, one. Press it back. Give it a stretch. Walking it up when you're ready. All right, y'all. We've got a few more core moves, and then we're going to stretch it out. Pull it down. Same format. This time we're going to start sitting up a little bit. Our hands are going to plant on our sides, or you can lift them. It's up to you. We're taking an in and out crunch. We're lifting those feet up. As we inhale, rocking back. Exhale, crunch those knees into your chest. You can keep your hands down or up. Your choice. Second move is 
compression twist. Rocking it back, twisting from side to side, rotating in that core. One minute straight of work here, starting with that in and out. In three, two, one, here we go. Press it back, squeezing it in. Keep your chest lifted and your gaze up. If it's too much for your feet to be up, that's okay. You can rest your heels down, lift one at a time. Good job, y'all. Halfway through this in and out. The further back you lean, the more you're going to feel it, the more you're going to work. Good. Lots of options here. It's three, two. Plant those feet. We've got Russian twist. Good. If you have a weight in your body and want to grab it, you can do that for this one. The further you lean back, the more challenging this will be. You can also lift your feet up. Test your balance, try to rock it out here. You have 10 seconds. Push back a little further, you've got this, it's in you. It's five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, take a breather. All right, one more round of core, some glute, then we're calling it a day. Go ahead and lift those feet up overhead. We're taking a reverse curl, so you're gonna lift those hips up off the ground just a tiny little bit. You really wanna squeeze up through your core. Try not to let momentum move you. Second move is a dead bug. Our feet come to tabletop position. Arms overhead, we're sitting opposite arm, opposite leg. First up is that reverse curl, lift those feet. Getting started in three, two, one. Here we go, lifting up. Lowering down, y'all, we got this. Squeezing out through those upper abdominals, tiny hip raise. Good, guys, exhale up, inhale to lower. We're taking our dead bug in five, four, three, two, one, bending those knees, arms raise overhead, opposite leg extends, opposite arm extends. My left arm comes overhead as right leg comes out. Right arm overhead as left leg comes out. Hovering that foot off the floor, keeping that lower back pressing into the ground. Good job, remember why you're doing this, you're almost done. In five, four, three, two, one. Lower those feet down. We are taking a glute bridge, raising those hips up and exhaling as we come up. Exhale, inhale. We're here for 30 seconds. In three, two, join me here. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Pull that belly button into your spine, keeping your weight in your heels. Still working our core while activating our glutes. Good, shoulder blades stay on the ground. For an extra challenge, don't let your glutes drop all the way. You have less than a minute of work left. Make it count. In five, four, three, two, and one, lower those glutes. We are flipping over one more time. Our last plank, we're just gonna hold it steady for 30 seconds and then we're cooling it down, y'all. Picking it up here in three, two, one. Last 30 second plank hold. If there's any plank variation that you know that you like, feel free to take it. If you're good just hanging out, stay right here. Squeeze that core super tight. Like everything you have, you can squeeze it in. You got this. Squeeze those muscles nice and strong. You've got 10 seconds left. Keep those glutes down. Take a big exhale. Almost there. It's five, four, three, two, two, one. Drop it down. Press it back. Great job, guys. We're going to stretch. You made it through the tough part. Good. Hang on to this child's pose for a few more seconds, keeping your head down on the ground.
When you're ready, we're going to rise it up. Come to a seated position. And go ahead and press your feet together in the butterfly stretch. Leaning forward just a little bit if you want that extra stretch in your hips. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you got a nice workout in. Um, hopefully we'll be doing some more of these. I think there's going to be a few classes uploaded. Um, so you'll be able to check those out if you'd like. Go ahead and extend those feet forward. Reach down for those toes. Keeping your back nice and straight, chest nice and tall. Good. Breathing into your stretch. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and stand it up together. So go ahead and bring those feet down. We're going to flip over top of our legs. Round up through your spine nice and slow. Once you get to the top, take a nice shoulder roll. We're going to pick up one foot, taking it to a quad stretch, kissing knees together, squeezing through with your belly button. To help you balance, you can hold center, you can hold your head. If there's something near you, you can grab onto that too. Just getting that nice stretch, flexing that foot behind you. And switch legs. Good, y'all. Awesome work today. Thank you so much again. A couple more stretches here. We're going to bring one arm across that chest, grabbing above or below your joint, getting that shoulder stretched out here. I hope everybody's doing well and adjusting to the new online class um, curriculum. It's definitely been an adjustment, but we're going to make it work, and it's going to be good. We're going to make it through. Go ahead, release that arm. We're going to take a tricep stretch overhead. Again, grabbing above or below your joint, keeping your head up. Try not to look down. And switch. And go ahead and release it. Taking your arms out to the side, reaching up and over, stretching out our oblique, stretching out our back. Keeping that hand either pressing into the side of your thigh, or you can hold it again on your belly button. Inhale up. Exhale, other side. And inhale it up. Both arms overhead. Big reach up to the ceiling. And clap it down. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, my name is Ashley. This was an Express Sculpt class online. I hope you enjoyed it and that you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.